Hey everyone, my name is Ben from Archetype Origins, and this is the Lian Li TL LCD fence. And I think Lian Li might have done it once again. Happy New Year everyone, this is our first long form video in the year of 2024. And today we're going to be doing a review for the fans that caught a lot of attention in the PC building community. And they are the Lee and Lee TL LCD fans. So let's go over some of its key features and I will explore some of the details and concerns I have for these fans with you guys. So be sure to stick till the end because we got a lot to cover. But first, we're gonna start by unboxing this TL LCD fence that we have here. The one we have here is a set of three, and they do come in a single pack as well. Right off the box, it comes with a white cable to connect your fence to the hub, a controller for your TL series fence, and some mounting screws. These fans do come with a reverse fan blade version, so you don't have to worry about blocking the LCD screen by mounting it on the wrong side. Just make sure that you purchase the correct orientation for your case. First off, the main selling point of this fence is its 1.6 inch built-in LCD screen on the center bearing of the TL LCD fence. This LCD screen has a resolution of 400 by 400 and it allows you to monitor your PC hardware info such as your CPU and GPU temperatures. You can also set up custom GIF, MP4 or JPEG to display your favorite meme on the LCD screen. One thing that everyone loves and it has been pretty standard with all the Lee & Lee fans is this slight in daisy chain style. You probably already know this, but all the Lian Li fans are super easy to install and you only need one cable for a single chain that consists of three Lian Li fans. This is super great for cable management and it really makes building a PC a lot easier. And the overall look of your PC is just super neat and tidy with these daisy chain style fans. Sorry for Sarah. Another feature is this removable rubber cover for the TL fans. These rubber covers act as a nice touch to the aesthetic of these fans. If you plan to mount these fans onto a radiator and you can just pop them off, screw the screws and cover them back on with these rubber covers. Super clean, I'm a big fan of this feature. Now let's talk about the installation of these fans. Since it can get pretty confusing if this is your first time using a Lian Li controller for your system, there are four different cables that connect to the controller. The PWM fan cable, the ARGB cable, the USB 2.0 cable and a 6-pin PCIe cable which is pretty new but we're gonna get into that in a bit. We only use the L-Connect software to control the RGB and fan speed of the Lee & Lee fans so I always ended up removing the ARGB and the PWM fan cables. To connect the fans, first plug in the USB 2.0 cable to your USB 2.0 header on your motherboard, locate your 8-pin PCIe cable and then plug in the 6-pin PCIe cable onto your 8-pin cable. If you're using an NVIDIA RTX 30 series or AMD GPUs, these fans might not be the best choice for you. Reason for that is because your GPU might take up all the PCIe cable on your power supply, leaving you no more extra PCIe cable to power your controller, unlike the older model that's using SATA for power. Make sure you check with your PSU and make sure you have enough cables for that. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably comparing the TL LCD fans to the SL Infinity fans that they have launched before. Aside from the screens, what are the differences in terms of build quality and performance for these fans? Well, we're about to find out. Lian Li also made some improvements to the SL Infinity lighting by making the Infinity RGB effect bigger and it now touches the frame. The TL series fans are also slightly thicker compared to the SL Infinity. I think this increases the airflow and overall performance for the fans. Aside from that, there is no more LED in the center bearing of the TL series. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering the same questions. So let's say you currently have your old Lian Li Uni fans, SL Infinity fans, or even the AL series fans in your system currently. And you are wondering, can the Lian Li SL Infinity or the old Lian Li Uni fan hub support the TL LCD fans? and if you're able to put them all together onto one single controller? Well, the answer is no. The TL LCD hub only supports the TL LCD fans and the TL fans. They are not cross compatible. This means if you have the Infinity fan, the AL series fans, and the TL LCD fans, you will need two different controllers. And you know what that means? You'll need to plug in both USB 2.0 headers onto your motherboard and it will most likely take up both the slots on your motherboard. But don't worry, this is a simple fix. You can get one of those USB 2.0 internal hubs for your system 
and this will split the one USB 2.0 header into four so you can plug in your other components such as AIO, the Lee and Lee Strymer cables, or even a mini LCD screen all into one USB internal hub. Now, it's important to know that one TL controller supports up to seven TL LCD fans, so a maximum of three on each port. To operate eight to 12 fans, you'll need to use two controllers simultaneously, and it doesn't support more than 13 TL LCD fans. For me personally, I don't really like how the TL non-LCD version look because they have a transparent center which let you see through it and the bearing in the center is just very, very visible. I think it's not the best aesthetic with the regular TL fans, but if you want to have them all match and not use multiple controllers in one system, and you don't really mind the bearing just exposed in the middle of the fan, you can always go with the TL fans. I think these fans are super great for custom loop water cooling PC builders. Say you don't want to add an LCD screen to monitor the temperature, and you don't have an AIO to do so either, since you're using a water block, obviously, to cool your CPU. So this will look really nice in a system like this. You'll be able to monitor the temps without having to purchase an additional monitoring screen to do so. The removable connectors are also super neat if you have tubings and fittings mounted near the fence, and you need extra clearance to mount those fittings. You can always just simply twist it and remove it. These fans are not made for everyone. A pack of three of these cost $149.99, and that's expensive. They are definitely made for people who value aesthetics a lot in their systems, and they have the extra cash to spare for their high-end builds. Otherwise, you're probably looking at using the extra money and put it towards more performance instead. A single pack of the TL LCD fan costs $46.99, but I don't think anyone can only buy a single pack because there's not a control included with that single pack. So you're definitely looking to get a three set packs to begin with. And if you'd like to add an extra single pack, let's say for the exhaust, then only you'll purchase the single pack. So minimum, minimum spending is $149.99. Minimum. Oof, that's expensive. Ugh. Alright guys, that's pretty much everything I want to cover with this TL LCD fence by Lee and Lee. Let me know what you guys think about this fence, whether you're upgrading it from the TSL Infinity fence or you're building a brand new system, would you purchase this? Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.